Today I am sharing a very delicious white egg korma recipe which is so tasty that it is guaranteed to impress your family and friends with its restaurant worthy taste. So let's start with the recipe. We will fry a few ingredients and then grind it into a smooth paste. Starting with some oil, I have used coconut oil, you can use any oil that you prefer. Then I will add a few whole spices, starting with 4 to 5 cardamoms, a small piece of cinnamon stick. All the ingredients used in the recipe will be listed in the description section below. 3 cloves. You can add any garam masalas that you have like star anise and big cardamom and so on, but make sure that you add just a small piece of it. Then I will add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds or jeera and 3 teaspoons of coriander seeds. Make sure that you keep the flame very low so that none of the spices get burnt. Now I will be adding 8 to 10 cloves of garlic, 2 inch piece of ginger, 4 green chilies. If you like spicy food then add 5 to 7 chilies and 2 large onions. I'm adding some salt so that the onions release some moisture and cook faster. I'm also adding around 20 to 25 cashews here. Now we need to fry the onions and the cashews till they slightly caramelize. When onions caramelize, the sugars in them break down and it gives a slightly sweet flavor to the dish. We will cover and cook it for 3 to 5 minutes on a low flame. Now let's make some cuts on these boiled eggs. I am making some crisscross cuts on the top. You can do any cuts that you prefer. This helps the flavors seep well inside the egg. After 3 to 5 minutes when the onions have caramelized slightly, we will switch off the gas and let it cool down completely. Then put it into a blender and grind it into a very smooth paste. Next, let's move on to making the korma. I am going to use a combination of oil and ghee. You can use just oil or just ghee as per your preference. When the ghee melts, add in the ground masala paste. I am also going to add in a cup of water in the mixer jar and add it here. Now mix it really well. Let the gravy combine well with the oil and the ghee. And cover and cook it for 4 to 5 minutes on a medium flame. After 4 to 5 minutes on medium flame, we will switch off the gas and let it all cool down slightly since we are going to add the curd now. If we add curd when the temperature is very hot, there is a risk of the curd splitting or curdling. Here I have 1 cup of curd that we will whisk really well and then add it to the gravy. The flame is still switched off here. We will combine this curd and the gravy very well. Now I will be adding 1 tablespoon of kasuri methi, half tablespoon of garam masala powder and half a teaspoon of black pepper powder. Now we will switch on the gas and keep the flame on low to medium and mix it all really well. You can add some water if you think that the gravy is too thick. Check for salt and add some more if required. Now cover and cook this mixture till the oil separates from the gravy. This might take 10 to 12 minutes, but make sure that you keep stirring it occasionally to ensure that it doesn't stick to the bottom. After 10 to 12 minutes when you see that the oil has separated from the gravy, now is the time to introduce the boiled eggs to the gravy. My mobile somehow stopped recording the clip of adding the eggs. Once you add the eggs, combine the eggs nicely with the gravy. Let the gravy coat each of the egg nicely so that the flavors seep very well into the egg. Again cover and cook on a low flame for 7 to 8 minutes till the oil separates from the gravy. You can also choose to add some cream at the end but I will not be adding any. You can if you wish to. After 7 to 8 minutes on low flame when you see that the oil is floating you know it's done. Garnish it with some coriander leaves and enjoy. I had prepared this on a Friday evening when we usually order something from the restaurant. Believe me everyone thought it was from a restaurant. It was that delicious. So do try this recipe and let me know in the comment section about your opinions. If you liked the recipe then kindly hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more such content. Do leave your opinions and suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.